Hey friends, it's Suzanne Mosley with Us From Books and More. You can find me on Facebook and YouTube at my newly named Suzanne Shares Books. Um, you can find me on Instagram at Suzanne underscore shares. You can find my Us From Books and website. And another way to contact me um, is that, which is SuzanneSharesBooks.com. So I am a classical conversations mama. I tutor essentials now, but in my former life, or a few years ago, I tutored um, foundations. And I wanted to share with you some resources that you can use um, to... Um, as you prep um, for different subjects that you will tutor um, with foundation. So first up, I want to share with you science. Um, this is wonderful. <laughs> All CC families should have it. Honestly, we uh, I have kids in challenge now. We used it um, with some of our challenge papers we had to write in challenge A. Um, we also just use it for so many things. Um, but I found it helpful as a tutor um, specifically with the science experiments and projects that we did, um, because that's when, you know, there's more discussion and I needed to be a little bit more knowledgeable about some of the topics that, um, are, that, you know, we were talking about in foundations because I couldn't remember learning them or I never learned them. So I use this a lot just for me to prep, like, okay, what, what, what are crystals? What are minerals? Um, and it helped me just get a little more knowledge because it's written on a child's level and I can could hang with that. Um, so it was helpful for me to prep um, for those um, those um, science experiments, science projects. Um, some other great ones for science. We're going to talk again science first. Um, first semester is biology. Um, this is lift the flat biology. I usually tutor the obesity and so sometimes um, you know you drill, drill, drill on the the grammar uh, on the memory work. But sometimes you know again in the science projects experiments, it was helpful for me to have some. Um, pictures to show them of what we were talking about. Um, so this one may be really helpful. It's brand new um, for uh, the first semester. Um, and I also just wanted to highlight, this is the Book and Jigsaw Tree of Life puzzle. It is brand new. Um, and all of our puzzles, it's a 300 piece puzzle, but it also includes a book. So this comes with it. And this is basically a non-flap version of lift the flat biology so and both of these are $14.99 so if you would like the flat book yay $14.99 here you go um, or you can get the non-flat version of the book and the puzzle for $14.99 so those are great first semester or um, I love this even like for uh, it dips into geography but if you need to show pictures of mammals or invertebrates I really love world of animals it's divided into the continents of the world like South America, it shows you um, animals that live on that continent. And I just love the photography. And this is probably one of my favorite books. So I just think all people need this one. So there's that one. Um, second semester with um, science is earth science, rocks and minerals. It's so fun. I love it. Um, so this is rocks and minerals. It's a um, spotter's guide, a sporn spotter's guide. It's $5.99. So I use this as a tutor just to, you know, bring in, you know, we had a little rocks and mineral set, but also just, again, another visual for them. Um, but also a little prep for me to read, uh, you know, and kind of like, okay, what, uh, what is a sedimentary rock? And I also, um, as I was, you know, engaging with the kiddos, I, I like these because it's short summary, um, short summations. And so those were helpful for me, um, you know, to take in and then engage with the kiddos about, um, and I have a whole video that features nonfiction science resources for cycle one. Um, this is one that I show. It's a science box set. It's uh, $44.99. There are 10 of our nonfiction beginners. This is actually great because half of these are cycle one and the other five are either cycle uh, cycles two or cycle three. Um, and it saves you five bucks. You get a free book uh, by buying the box set. And I love the box. It keeps them all there together. Um, but I wanted to highlight these in particular because these are great for um, second semester. And again, I loved having these um, because of showing pictures um, of, of, you know, clouds, weather, um, storms, all the things. So these are helpful. But specifically, I wanted to highlight these three because they are now out of print individually. So the only place you can get them is in, um, is in this box set. Um, so the storms and uh, hurricanes earthquakes and tsunamis and um, volcanoes okay so there are those um, that is second semester um, so now moving on to history we do ancient history for cycle 
one. I love this. Again, I have a more in-depth video on it, but it's great. Uh, it's honestly, it's great for all three cycles. Obviously, it's more cycle one, cycle two heavy, but sometimes I would just bring them in to show them pictures of, um, you know, Roman, here's a Roman Colosseum or, you know, even bringing it in for art. Um, if we were uh, doing oils, if we were drawing the Roman Colosseum, I wanted to show them a picture of it. Uh, plus, this was just really a really helpful um, resource for me with that. And also our timelines book. Again, I have a, a more in-depth video, but if you have a child in class that's like, hey, tutor, what was going on um, in Africa and the Middle East when uh, in the um, 16th century, as well as what was going on in Europe? So the cool thing about the timelines book is that it does have columns, and those are for each continent. And it gives you some information of what is going on the various continents on during that same time period. So, again, very helpful. It was a great um, resource for me. Um, and then these, I just briefly wanted to show these. History of Science in 100 Pictures. History of uh, the World in 100 Pictures. Just, I love the summations. This one works well with um, our timeline because a lot of what is on the timeline is here. And there's just short little summaries. Um, of each and it literally there are 100 pictures um, and these are only um, 9 dollars they're great and I feel like they're hidden gems um, okay and then lastly I'm trying to talk really fast so this is not the longest video ever um, I used a ton of our books for fine, uh, fine arts um, so the first six weeks when we do oils um, this step-by-step -step drawing books like literally it step-by-step -step, and you are using oils in each picture <laughs> there's my kids drawings um, so these were really helpful for as, as a tutor. It gave me a lot of ideas. I picked what we drew um, from these books. I got I got those ideas, um, and then um, second semester when we do orchestra again, I have a more in depth video of this, but we do have this orchestra book that. Um, shows you the different um, families of instruments cycle one specific we have this new one um, that is uh, the animal orchestra plays mozart so um it plays some of his um, pieces on each page but the cool thing the dialogue that's happening on each page um is um, it gives you biogra biographical info about Mozart and his life. So that one is a new one that we did not have last, last cycle three. Um, so I'm excited for that. And then this one is brand new. It just came out in March 2021, Question and Answers Music. Um, this is our Question and Answer series that has questions at the top of every one. Uh, why do babies love music? Um, but then I love this. It shows the orchestra. Where does it, who, who sits where in the orchestra and who was deaf when he composed his best work? So this one is another great one that you can um, use in class or use as a resource with um, fine arts orchestra with music. So thanks so much for watching. I hope this was helpful as we gallivant very quickly um, through that. But if you have any questions or I can help in any way, feel free to contact me through Suzanne Shears Books on Facebook or SuzanneShearsBooks.com. There's a way to message me there too. Thanks, friends.